Contrary to popular belief, the USS Long Beach CGN-9 was the first surface warship to be fueled by nuclear energy, not the carrier Enterprise. Originally planned as a frigate, Long Beach underwent an update and expansion to transform into a heavy cruiser in order to carry multiple missile systems. At first, the cruiser was armed with RIM-8 Talos missiles, but launchers for Tomahawk cruise missiles, standard missiles, and harpoon missiles were later installed. The ship was able to achieve an approximate speed of 30 knots thanks to its two C-1W nuclear reactors. The U.S. Navy sent the cruiser to Vietnam in 1966 for the first time and positioned it north of the Gulf of Tonkin so that enemy aircraft could not circumvent the identification zone. Following the Cold War's ending, the Long Beach was decommissioned on May 1, 1995, due to the fact that nuclear power was considered too costly to be employed on ships that were smaller than aircraft carriers.